In this week's retro pop culture news, there is a Back to the Future spoof parody movie that is being written. Also, Tab Cola, it's being discontinued. And Coming to America 2 is going to premiere on Amazon Prime. And we have a lot more news to talk about, so don't turn that down. Uh. <laughs> what up to my peoples, and welcome to Retro Crunch, your number one source for retro pop culture and news. To start off this week's retro news, we have gotten wind of a Back to the Future spoof movie that's going to be about a female lead who is a young woman that goes back in time to stop someone from ever being born. Right now, the working title for this parody film is called Bitch to the Future. Whether they're going to stick with this title, we don't really know, but it is really early in this stage right now, and it could easily change. But for now, we're just going to call it B to the Future for this video. This news is coming to us through tracking-board.com. They put out Hollywood Insider News, and this is real legit movie news about this being written, so I thought that it was worth talking about. There's even a plot for the script that gives a little bit more information on it. When a very, very, very mature 22-year-old young woman accidentally goes back in time, she realizes this is her one chance to stop someone from ever being born her much older boyfriend's popular 15-year-old daughter. This is pretty much the exact opposite of what Back to the Future is about with Marty and Doc actually trying to get Marty's parents back together. But that's what makes this an interesting story. It has the potential to poke fun of the Back to the Future franchise without being a total ripoff. B to the Future is being written by Sienna East. She's a young director that's just starting in the entertainment industry. And she's already got some directing and assistance work to her name. She has a 2018 film called Lycanphobic. And she was also a crew member for the TV show There's Johnny. I'll be the first to say that I can't really get on board with a Back to the Future movie that does not have the original Marty or Doc in it. But a spoof or parody movie, that is a whole different story. I, I think that them doing a parody versus doing a sequel is a lot better. Um, this is more in kin with uh, just making fun of the franchise or doing something that's more of a spoof. Um, now, we've seen this in the past with Spaceballs. That was a parody of Star Wars. And then, of course, Hot Shots and Hot Shots Part Two. Those were uh, both parodies of Top Gun. Back to the Future came out in 1985, and I think it's really surprising that we haven't already seen a lot of spoofs or parody movies that have came out about Back to the Future. Um, it is adored and loved by 80s and 90s fans, and I'm actually kind of interested to see what they do with this. Sienna East is going to be working on this movie with the Hollywood-based film production company Gotham Group. Now, they're responsible for the Maze Runner films as well as the Spiderwick Chronicles, so this movie might actually have some legs to keep it going. But after hearing all this news, what do you guys think about a female lead in a Back to the Future parody movie? And is this something that you're going to watch when it comes out? Let me know in the comments down below. Then next up, I've been real anxious to get some more news on Coming to America 2, and now we have it. Paramount has sold the distribution rights to Coming to America 2 to Amazon Studios for a whopping $125 million. The film is now going to premiere on Amazon Prime Video on December 18th. And the real question that I have on this is, is it going to be immediately available to Prime subscribers? Or are they going to have to go the way that Disney Plus did with Mulan and charge $20 or $30 for people to watch it in the first couple months? I do hope that this is going to become immediately available, but let me know in the comments what you think about it. Then we may be getting a new Buck Rogers movie in the future. Uh, according to The Hollywood Reporter, sources are reporting that Legendary Films has inked a deal for a Buck Rogers movie, um, possibly a new TV series, and an animated series as well. With all the sci-fi revivals that have been coming down the pipe, I will not be surprised at this news. We have Battlestar Galactica that has a new series that's coming out. Star Wars has The Mandalorian, so this is definitely a bit of good news for those 70s and 80s sci-fi fans. And then, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, guys, but Tab Cola is actually going away. So it debuted in 1963 as Coca-Cola's first diet soda, and it's held on to a small but loyal fan base for nearly 60 years, but its, it's run is finally over. According to Coca-Cola, it's going to be discontinued by the end of the year. Now, I haven't had Tab Soda in a very long time, but I might actually go out and try to find some just so I can find out what it tastes like again. What are you guys going to do? 
Then finally, if you're into retro news and nostalgia stuff from back in the day, I'll see you in the next video right over there. I'll catch you on the flip side, and remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.